Yo, what's going on everybody? Akeem here and in today's Fix of Entertainment news, our first look at Joaquin Phoenix's Joker, why we won't be getting a Batman Beyond live action movie, and the type of Jon Snow we can expect from the Game of Thrones spinoff. Let's drop it. All right, we got our first glimpse of Joaquin Phoenix's Joker thanks to director Todd Phillips. Now he took to Instagram and posted this image of the actor with the caption, day one, our boy, hashtag Joker. Now Phoenix looks rather emaciated, which is likely due to how seriously he takes his roles with his method acting. And of course, fans have been bombarding the director with questions about showing us a similar photo of Lady Gaga in the role of Harley Quinn, to which he took to the comments section and said, quote, getting a lot of these messages in my DMs and on here. Sorry to say that Lady Gaga does not start with us until after the new year. So it's gonna be a bit. Now, no worries, as I'm sure we can all wait ever so patiently as the pieces of the sequel fall into place. Now, it'll definitely be interesting to see Lady Gaga's take on the character as we've only known Margot Robbie in the live action role of the villainous fiction in recent years. Now, I think it's time for a very fresh take on the character, maybe with a slightly different voice. Who knows? Anyways, we can expect Joker Foley Odoo October 4th, 2024. So we're getting another Joker movie, but we will not be receiving a Batman Beyond movie with Michael Keaton. Yeah, that was actually in the works at one point, according to a Hollywood Reporter newsletter. Now apparently, the writer for the upcoming Flash movie and Batgirl, Christina Hodson, pitched a Batman Beyond idea that got those DC executives interested. Hodson was hard at work on a script for the film until James Gunn pulled out the guns with Saffron in tow and tanked the entire project. Now the film reportedly would have featured Keaton's Bruce Wayne in a romantic relationship with Catwoman, likely Michelle Pfeiffer's variant. Now further DC projects are currently on hold until James Gunn and the new team figure out what direction they'd like to go with projects, so maybe they'll revisit the idea at some point. And speaking of revisiting ideas and projects, it looks like we'll be heading back into the world of Game of Thrones with the spinoff of Jon Snow in the Jon Snow Show. Now, Kit Harrington is giving fans a bit of a tease as to what to expect from the titular character and where his mindset is after the events of the series finale of the main show. Now, while speaking with Entertainment Weekly, the actor says Jon Snow is not okay and that, quote, at the end of the show, when we find him in that cell, he's preparing to be beheaded and he wants to be. He's done. The fact he goes to the wall is the greatest gift and also the greatest curse. Now he goes on to talk about how his character has to live with the trauma of killing those he loved and that by the end of the show, he's ultimately not okay. So we'll be getting a very broken Jon Snow whenever we begin to see things develop on that front. And that about wraps it up for this entertainment fix. I'm Akeem Lawanson and thank y'all for watching. Now that you're caught up on today's news, please check out our previous video. Download the IGN app on all your devices and for everything else, stick with IGN.